anybody who's listening out there and uh, ready to just have a little experience, just invite you first of all, just to, just to, just to find somewhere to sit comfortably. Um, and just allow yourself just to, just to bring yourself back to yourself and, and just taking a few comfortable breaths, just, just have a sense of breathing out of your head and just breathing into your body. There's no way it needs to be just, just allowing yourself to breathe comfortably and, and just choosing to get the benefit from this next minute or two. And now I just, just invite you to think of an example, just one thing that might be going on for you right now. It might be a challenge or an issue. It might be something that you really want to create that you still don't have yet. So just go with the first thing that comes to you. Just pick, just pick one example. And now just imagine, in, in your imagination, just imagine in front of you a circle. Just see this circle in front of you. And let's just choose to define this circle as, as this challenge or this issue or this thing that you don't have yet. And now in your own way, whatever works for you, just continuing to breathe comfortably, just have a sense of just Letting go, letting go of the day so far, letting go of what's going on around you. Just have a sense of just emptying out. And just now imagine stepping into this circle. And just imagine being in this circle with this issue, with this challenge, with this thing you don't have yet. And just notice what's here, what's present. Just notice, first of all, what sensations are you experiencing in your body? Being with this issue, this challenge, or not having this thing. And what's the emotion? What's the feeling? It might be fear, frustration, sadness, whatever it is. Just go with what you get. And now just become aware of all the thoughts that you have about this challenge, this issue, not having this thing. What are you telling yourself? What do you need to do? What do you think you need to do? And just notice what you get. And now, in your imagination, just imagine rising up out of that circle and imagine just floating up higher and higher, becoming emptier and emptier, lighter and lighter, until you're floating way, way up above. And from this high perspective now, just have a sense of looking down at that circle, but staying up high, light and empty. And just ask yourself, ask your imagination, what's obvious from this perspective? What's true for me to do? And just go with what you get, the very first thing. It doesn't even have to make sense, just allow it to come. And when you get something, just, just choose that for yourself in whatever way works for you, just choose to receive that. And now when you've done that, just bring your attention back and uh, <laughs> open your eyes. Oh, Denise, thank you so much. I, I walked through that exercise with you and, and uh, it was really incredible and um, if you mind, I'd like to share my experience. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, the the first ca uh, the first thing that came to me was um, a an issue that I feel um, I've not been able to to help with. My my partner, he um, is having some difficulty with his mother who suffers from mental illness, and you know, it, it's been quite 
a stress for him and, it, and it's been very challenging. And I, I've really wanted to help him. Um, and so, you know, and, and I felt I've not been able to help him actually. So I stepped into that circle of um, looking at how I felt of like, you know, not being able to help him. And I found that, you know, some of the, some of the feelings that I have is a feeling of like powerlessness. I had even, um, you know, like even feelings of resentment towards him that he needed my help, um, but he wouldn't ask for it. Uh, I had feelings of, um, you know, not, not being good enough, not knowing how to help him, not knowing what to do. And I think they, you know, they were compounded for me because he's always so helpful to me. I felt like I should, I should give and I should do and I, and I, I can't fix this for him and I should be able to fix it. So I had a lot of kind of, you know, turmoil that was coming up for me about this. Um, but actually when I, when I floated up above and, and I could see myself rising up, what I what I experienced was um, my heart almost just just bursting open, and what became obvious to me was just simply compassion. And actually, it was not about doing or anything I could fix, but just to have compassion for him for what he's going through, um, and being able to to sit with that, not trying to fix it, not trying to to change anything, just to be compassionate about what he's experiencing right now. And it's, it's really given me a, you know, <laughs> what, I, what I've learned from that is like just taking that different lens and looking at it in a different way. It, it's made me feel a lot better about the, <laughs> well, but no doubt, um, you know, when, when I get that chance to see him, no doubt he'll be feeling better because I'm not trying to get in there and fix it. <laughs> I'm actually just able to approach it with, with the compassion for him. Oh, brilliant. That's beautiful. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's so true, isn't it? And it's often, um, it's often our experience that when we get out of all our thoughts and what we think we need to do, sometimes the, the next step is really quite simple. We don't have to be doing lots of things. We can actually do a lot less and actually have you know more impact it reminds me of um, a zen proverb which is there's nothing to do but action to take ah beautiful <laughs> too often we're busy doing 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 and actually we miss the obvious stuff yeah. Yeah. yeah and i feel like my doing was creating more turmoil for him but actually just that simple act of compassion is all it's going to take Oh, yeah. thank you so much for taking us. Mm -hmm.